how can the parent, what are some ways the parent can instill this love of the Quran in the child's heart? And, and, and isn't it important, Brother Kareem, for the parent to also learn the Quran, implement it? Because I do see parents spending money, may Allah bless them, to send the kid to Quran lessons. But I think when the child will get older, he will say, but D Baba, you, Dad, you don't, you don't know that much Quran, or you didn't learn also yourself. So do you, perhaps you can speak about that. Yeah. Um, it, it definitely will be, it's important to work on both sides because uh, in the end, uh, our kids are uh, reflection, a, of us. A reflection of us. They, they do what we do. Uh, what we do. Uh, so even if they do love it in the end, they, they can see it clearly that it's not important if, if it's not done. Yeah, I yeah, exactly. And if it's the opposite, if they see, even if you don't do it a lot, but even if you do five minutes a day, Quran. But those five minutes are in front of the kids, they're very clear, and you make it on purpose that they see you reading the Quran, yeah. then it becomes something which they, oh, oh well, m dad, mom, uh, they read the Quran, then this is something that maybe older people do, or this is yeah. something which uh, makes me... Uh, better or I want right. to be like them, I want to imitate them, I want to, right. like, th and you find kids sitting in the back of the car and they're like, yeah, yeah. Like they want to be like their they parents. They want to be like the parents. Same thing if they see reciting, uh, the, reciting Quran. the Quran, may memorizing the Quran, maybe uh, playing, the Quran. Uh, playing it, then say, oh, this is what we should be doing. This is the Talking normal. About it. Exactly. Okay, so those are some practical things parents can do. Recite the Quran yourself in front of your children, yes. play it on the, cor on the TV, the radio, uh, in the car, in yeah. the house. Maybe get, send them to uh, classes, yeah, definitely. Yeah, send them to okay. Um, if you can't teach them, then you can send them to classes. Use technology. There's yes. many websites which, yeah. uh, even any uh, stuff like this, it's free. Then it's free it's online. Free, uh, whether it's through YouTube or on different websites, yeah. you can either download the Quran, the or Quran. You, and you just listen to it and... Uh, you can maybe get the Quran with your child if you don't know how to speak Arabic and, yeah. and you just follow through with it uh, maybe holding on to a small tafsir uh, interpretation of the Quran which has all the difficult words and then you can highlight even the ones which in Jannah, Jannah you'll find paradise you find that a lot so right, right. as soon as you hear that you know ah this is something now he's going to talk about Jannah so they get more, more excited maybe Nar or Jahannam which is hellfire right. uh, or Keywords which you identify, you start to learn them gradually. So every time you see them, you know, oh, this is going to be talking about Jannah, let's get excited right. about Jannah. Right. Or right. this is going to be talking about Hellfire, let's see how to get away from this. Or right. different stories, the different names of the prophets. When you hear Ibrahim, alayhi salam, then you're yes. like, ah, oh, this is a story. Yeah. Uh, Yusuf, uh, and, and then you get excited with the stories. You start to live uh, with, it, you know. with the Quran. Yeah. 